When the Wind Stops by Charlotte Zolotel, illustrated by Stefano Vitale. The great bright yellow sun had shone all day, and now the day was coming to an end. The light in the sky changed from a blue to pink to a strange dusty purple. The sun sank lower into the long glowing clouds. The little boy was sorry to see the day end. He and his friend had played in the garden. When they were tired of playing, they laid down on the grass and felt the sun on them, warm and soft like a sleepy cat resting. There had been ice and lemonade in the afternoon, which they drank under the pear tree, and little boy's father read him a story on the porch before he went to bed. Now his mother came to say good night. Why does the day have to end? He asked her. So the night can begin. She said, look. She pointed out the window where high in the darkening sky behind the branches of the pear tree, the little boy could see a pale sliver of it. That's the night beginning, his mother said, resting her hand on his shoulder. The night with the moon and the stars and the darkness for you to dream. But where does the sun go when the day ends? The little boy asked. The day doesn't end, his mother said his mother. It begins somewhere else. The sun will be shining there when the night begins here. Nothing ends. Nothing? The little boy asked. Nothing, said his mother said. It begins in another place or in a different way. The little boy lay in bed and his mother sat beside him. Where does the wind go when it stops? He asked. It blows away to make the trees dance somewhere else. What does the dandelion fluff go when it blows away? It carries the seed of new dandelions to someone's lawn. Where does a mountain go right to the top? Down to where it becomes the valley. Where do the waves go when they break on the sand? Suck back into the sea to make new waves. Where does the rain go when the storm is over? Into the clouds to make other storms. And where do the clouds go when they move across the sky? To make shade somewhere else. And the leaves in the forest when they turn colored fall. Into the ground to become part of a new tree with new leaves. But when the leaves fall, that is the end of something, the little boy said. It is the end of autumn. Yes, his mother said. The end of autumn is when the winter begins. And the end of, in the end of winter, the little boy asked. The end of winter when the snow melts and the birds come back is the beginning of spring, his mother said. The little boy smiled. It really does go on and on. He said, nothing ends. He looked out at the sky. The sun was com gone completely. The lovely pink clouds had disappeared. The sky was dark and purple black. High above the branches of the pear trees shone early now with thin new moon. Today is over, his mother said. It's time for sleep and tomorrow morning you'll wake. The moon will begin at a night far away, the sun will be here to begin a new day. The